Kate Nekuti, and I'm also known as Chef Yede, and this is not your regular cookery show. Chef Yede is an executive chef at Kuti's Bistro. Um, my interest for cooking started when I was 12 with my grandma, and the first thing I got to cook was a pigeon stew, which I found very amazing, even though I didn't really like how it tasted. After a while, I went to school in London, and I got to work again with a pigeon dish. Um, I had to do a, another kind of pigeon dish, and it came out really nice, and it was absolutely amazing. I think my thought about pigeon at that time was because I knew that what they used it for was like traditional events, coronation, festival, basically. That's why I had the, um, a kind of different thought about it. But after I started cooking it in school, and I realized how much dish you can actually make from a pigeon, it became something that I would cook any day, and I would actually advise that you try a dish that comes with pigeon because you would enjoy it. Trust me. A lot of people actually don't know that most food has a historical background. For example, beans. Beans has a lot of historical background when it comes to having parties, celebrating newborn babies. We have different kind of beans that we have to use for that. Like they call it Ewa Oloyi, they call it Ewa Beji, and then there's also Ewa Woro. A lot of people don't know that beans is actually a very, very important part of Nigerian tradition. I'll give an example. In Nigeria, when you give birth to twins, you get to cook beans. It's called Ewai Beji. This is what you have to cook to appease the god or it's some kind of tradition that you do to say thank you for having a twin. And then you also have Ewa Goin that traveled all the way from Togo to Nigeria. And it's a popular street food that people come and eat in the... Uh, on the street of Lagos. So, and I also have that on our menu, and I named it Ruffo Ruffo Fight, which means that you have something that doesn't stay together. When you cook it together, it has to like, you know, it goes everywhere. So it's like a Ruffo Ruffo Fight. And I think that's the perfect name for it. And that's why I named it that on our Kutis Bistro menu as Ruffo Ruffo Fight. I mean, a lot of people don't know about food and the background, and I would say, oh, I just lost it now. One thing I've actually noticed is that a lot of people actually cook in a different way. I mean, there are um, alternate way of cooking. I would use rice as an example. If I'm to cook rice, I would cook my rice, I would parboil my rice, cook my rice until it's almost um, ready, and then I drain it. While some people will cook their rice, leave it until the water dries completely in it, and it becomes soggy. I don't think that is a good way to cook. I would say that it's actually different. There are some errors that you do in food cooking that actually doesn't affect you as an individual, but it affects the chef you can actually get away with it. So as a chef, there's a particular way you have to cook and it has to be professional. And there's a particular way you have to cook for just cooking. For me, I cook the way I cook professionally, even when I'm just cooking. It's something that has mastered me and then I do that all the time. So I expect that everything that I'm cooking comes out perfect. I've never seen Labia Ring before in my life. <laughs> Duh. Talking about who acted in, let me not talk. Oh. So today, what we are going to be having on the menu is going to have um, this lovely minced garlic. We have some smoked catfish in there. We have some live chicken, which means it has all the um, nutrients intact. I think I love to cook with live chicken because it saves a lot of nutrients than when you buy frozen food. That also goes with the snails. These snails are amazing, but you'll never catch me buying snail out. Why? Because I feel like they don't wash it well. That is a major problem with snails. They wash it and it's still slimy. So um, most people wash their snail with alum, which is a popular thing that everybody do. But I learned a particular technique from my grandma when I was growing up. She always used gari, and that is amazing. Trust me, it's very fast. All you have to do is just get your snail, cut out the black part, put the amount of gari in your hand, enough for whatever you do. Then you have to take them one by one. You put the snail and the gari and you just squeeze over, squeeze over properly, and then you put it in the warm water, and it actually works. You should try that in case you don't have alum and you want to quickly cook some nice snail sauce or something. That's for another day. So I'm going to be going into the kitchen now to get all this ready. And I have two special girls for you guys. And I... <laughs> and we're caught. And I have two special guests today. And I know you can guess who they are. And also you can guess what I'll be cooking with this for them. So now I'm going to go into the kitchen and make some magic. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, you know me. Do you know this is when I'm looking for my slippers in my house? I people say you not see it here, only for me to find it here. I'm going to find all of you for 500 naira.
so good. <laughs> so good. Mm. My oatmeal bear is looking amazingly good. This is also something I learned from my grandma. She makes it so well. yourself to go room room with the mortar wood. I think this is actually an easy way and you can have pananyam morning, afternoon and night easily. Just get yourself one of these. Our guests are here and the food is ready. In this plate we have two um, cutleries, one with the red ribbon and one with the blue ribbon that represent the food the boat likes. So we're going to call in our two guests there and they get to pick one of these. Whatever they pick is what's going to represent the food they eat today. Hey, Hello so guys. I have here Sheon Kuti mm -hmm. and then I also have Vector. They will be picking out of this ribbon today and let's see what everyone is going to pick. Let's see who's going to pick their main meal and who's going to pick this or someone else's meal. So we're going to see who's going to pick the red and who's going to pick the blue. Whatever you pick is what you're going to be having. Oh, every okay. color represents every meal, but maybe not your meal. Let's see who gets lucky. I need to. Oh, no. <laughs> you pick red. red. This, yeah. country, this country is a danger country. <laughs> so we got the police picking. Oh, what is it? pick red. Okay, my worry. I don't want to know which ever she is. Okay. On guard, you know, I got to call for it. Uh, fencing. <laughs> sorry, guys. Is it a battle? Are you guys serious? Is that supposed to be a battle? It's supposed to. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, Ubulai. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we'll be right back. Omega. 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 So it's time for the unveiling. Guys, come, 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 come see. What is your say, children? It's breakfast time. Okay, breakfast children, time. it's breakfast time. <laughs> okay, so guys, you guys, we All have. Those millennials don't know that one. <laughs> There's two, but you have another opportunity to pick again, just mm. in case you decide to pick. There's one plate here and then there's one plate here. So you can pick again if you want, or you can stick to the color you already have. I stick to my red. You? I don't have a choice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Are you guys sure you're sticking to your? I'm sure. I'm Are you to my sure? Guns. Once he has talked to you, then I don't know. One, two, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it is better than my food. As in. You <laughs> sure? So. Ah, yes, let me make a talk some. You want me? Let me cook this guy a goosey for hours. Same because now Victor order a goosey, you cook her like this. So now that you have picked red, you know that you have a goosey, which is not your favorite food. Mm -mm. And you have chicken stew, which is not your favorite food. What are you guys going to do about this? Not our six. I want to, <laughs> I want to see this a goosey. Ah, go because, 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 as I said, you never cook this kind of goosey for us. Ah! <laughs> my favorite food might change after this show. <laughs> you guys can't sit down. Let me stop you guys now, please. Thank you. <laughs> No, 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 for the jam. <laughs> ah, bad. <laughs> ah, bad. So, guys, I'm just going to serve them now and I'll be right back. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. See ya. So, who has a blue drink again? I do. Yeah. Blue Lagoon, and here you have a tequila right? Ah. We have your pounded yam here. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> 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 you know that, that, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm here. 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 I'm here.
It looks nice. Doesn't it look beautiful? Mm. I want to serve the two of them together, so I'm just going to serve everyone and then take it all together at once. And I can give you a quick tip on how to serve professionally when you have guests over and you're cooking for them. So I'm going to give a tip now. Always remember that to serve professionally, you have to always serve from your left. And also remember to turn the protein right in front of the customer having the food. They have to see what they're having properly, like that and like this. Are you serious? So now we're just going to wait for them to eat while we'll ask them some questions and see what they think about the food. So guys, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Do you think being um, a good cook actually covers for every quality you would want in a woman? No. It's a good quality to have, but there's more to being a woman than just cooking. Now. Okay, Shane, sure. what about you? No. The proverb that says uh, a woman's place is in the I'm kitchen. I'm just going to say that. <coughs> it's a European proverb. <laughs> With no equivalent in the African... Uh, in any African language that I know of. Hmm. So, definitely as an African man, the kitchen is important, yes, but it cannot be the only quality that we seek for in, or it's not even a feminine quality. Good talk, good talk. Right? Because <laughs> now we have male chefs and everything, yeah. so a man can as well just cook for himself. Okay. Like us. My grandfather used to cook for himself all the time, you know, so that, and he was a, was born even before they was Nigeria. That means mm -mm. men cooked. So it's not like... Yeah, the first chef in the world is actually a male chef from France. <coughs> the first person to be a chef. Mm. To actually, yeah, to actually have that name chef and make it very professional. He was a Frenchman. So yeah, I agree with you guys. So you guys, you see, you don't, not only being in the kitchen is what is perfect to be, what you need to be a perfect woman. You need to have more qualities. More qualities. Do you want to give an example of more qualities, guys? Any examples? You don't think you cook chicken when you're married, eh? Mm-hmm. Like the crunch and the flour for your married. Mm -hmm. That fresh chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That shows you, right? He likes live fresh chicken. Um, Kill so chicken what? is chef. <laughs> you guys should listen to what chicken is chef. Very tough. What chef, man? So my last question will be, what other, what is the other examples you will give as, um, your example um, as what you think a woman should have, apart from being good in the kitchen, to be a perfect woman, or maybe not perfect, almost perfect. I think it's the same. Um, for me, it's the same attribute I look for in, even Anybody. my my male friends. Uh, I'm even, is that people should be respectful of others' feelings or their humanity in general. Okay. How about you? Then? Me, it'd be like. Well, you guys seem to be. You guys to. You guys seem to really, really vibe and have the same. We like you. Oh, the queen you. Na la yemi. Oh, the queen you. In your meeting, queen you. They are just. As you can see, they are having a good time. They are enjoying. They are. Nobody in jail. Plate swap. Nobody is sad here. I see. This is the first time people see me on TV. Hope you guys had fun. Keep watching the cauldron. I remain Chef Yetinde Kuti. Peace out.